Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. In today's video, I'm going to show you 10 original projects you can create with the Grown With Kindness Paper Pumpkin Kit by Stampin' Up. Every month I get a surprise kit in the mail. I'm so excited about this kit because it's all related to nature. And here are the cards that you can create right out of the box. All of the materials are included. So please stick around because after I show you I have 12 projects total, but I'm going to show you my 10 original projects. Then I'm going to do an unboxing with my second kit because every month I get two kits because I have a lot of workshops because I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I always like to have an extra kit as one extra project to do. The first thing I do when I get my kit is I look at the back of the instructions. I don't actually, to tell you the truth, I don't actually follow the instructions ever, but I always look at the back and I look at the coordinating colors. And then I just go start gathering up supplies from my craft room. So this, these coordinating colors are basic black, fresh fig, lemon lime twist, mint macaron, and whisper white. So I just go gather my inks and I, my cardstock and things that will coordinate with those colors and I get to work. Okay, so first I'll just show you, I'm gonna start with just the cards that I created that are right out of the box, two cards. These are not part of my 10 original projects. These are just two cards I created just like the samples or almost just like the samples, okay? So, in other words, the only difference I did for this one is I took, the, I love these photorealistic backgrounds, and then for this one, I just took it and I put it on a fresh fig background instead of one of the backgrounds that came with it, which I'll show you, and then I just love the sentiments too. So it's like, you are wonderful. And I like how you could put like the little twine, it came with both Whisper White and Black Baker's twine. Okay, so we'll put that over here so you can see it. And then this one is just the, the photorealistic background. And you can stamp right onto it. I like this little texture. Let me, let me kind of make that in focus. You see these little blurry lines in the back? So you can stamp right onto the picture, and that's pretty nice. And I just like this. And these are these cards. So there's three kinds of cards, and this one was white inside, which is very nice. Okay, so that's the second card. Now, then I started, then I started just varying the pieces a bit. So here's what I did. I took that same photorealistic background here. Let me take this busy directions away so you can see my cards. And I, what I did is I took the U and I cut them out. And I just cut them out in little squares. I didn't cut them the same size squares because they were, they were different size letters. And I stamped this nice little really cool design and I added some bling that came with it. So it came with these little enamel dots and I added a few of them. I like to always add elements in odd numbers or groups of three. And for the background for this card, and you're gonna see a lot of this throughout my projects that I show you in this video, is I use this, this designer series paper called Wood Textures because I saw that this kit had to do with nature and I was like, oh, these are good projects to do with nature and I just use some Wood Textures paper on a lot of my projects. Okay, so we'll put that over there. And then I have another couple cards to show you. So I, I really personally thought this background, the, these fully succulent backgrounds were a little busy. So I started cutting them apart. And I thought I like this better because you have just less of a busy background. Let me show you the sample again. I'm not going to make any cards like this one because that background is just a little too busy for me on a card. So I just took a strip of that, a two inch strip, and I'll have instructions and materials in my list. And then I just made this little banner with the mint macaron and the lemon lime twist on this card. And this is one of the card bases that came with the kit. Okay, so now we're up to, that was card four. Okay, but still only, that was only my second of the original projects. And then this is project number three. So of my original projects, this one, I used a mint macaron background. I stamped right onto it. And I just layered up some of these pieces that came with it. And I added a bunch of the, the enamel elements to this card. All right, so, so far we've shown you five cards, two which are almost exactly like the kit and then a few extras. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna get into my 3D projects now. So my, I, I started taking, I took this card and cut it up. And I took, I took an, this background and I made it into boxes. Okay, so this and this. Okay, let me move these out of the way. So here are the two boxes. Okay, so for the first box, I took this and I, I just put the sentiment from the stamp set U, and, let me, and I put it some, some little enamel dots on top, so let's take off the, that. And I only wrapped it this way so, I could put, so it could come off easy and I could put it back on. 
And I didn't put candy in this one yet, but my favorite project is at the end, and I'll show you the candy, okay? And I put the stamp set. So it's You Are Wonderful. So the inside of the box is decorated. And then you can just add more things to the insides. Okay, now this one, Life is Tough, But So Are You. I love that with the cactus. So I just took, for, for that one, I just took a circle punch, and I punched this out of the card, this cactus. And then I just did the center. I inked around the edges, mint macaron. And I took the top of the card and made the top of the box. That's it. And I took the bottom of the card and I made the bottom of the box. Okay, so there's, those are little 3D projects and they're very easy to make. Okay, that's moving on. I have some bookmarks I made. And by the way, this just came in the mail yesterday. This isn't like I had a lot of time to make these. This is, if you have a, a system of productivity for crafting and you kind of already know like how to make a lot of different projects. So when you get different papers and different stamps, then you can use that same system and convert the ideas into, into new items, but with different patterns. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Like I already knew how to color with the blends. These are blends markers. And I, I stamped these images that came with the kit. And then I just, it was a matter of using my blends markers, which I colored less. I colored these last night because they did take a while to dry and get this really nice color. At first, the, they didn't, the, the ink didn't like ooze out the way I wanted it to, but that came out really nice and I really like that. All right, so for this video, I did definitely put the names of my punches on the bottom because I'm always saying the wrong names of punches and those of you that are subscribing to my channel know that. So this is the detailed trio punch. Okay, so it does not just, it doesn't just do like a hole like this and it does rounded corners, but it does this beautiful edge for the bookmarks. Okay, that, that's really nice when you give people a bookmark and you have that extra little bit extra little elements and then this this twine here is from the nature's twine set this mint macaron twine okay let me move these over make some room for the next bookmark now this bookmark kind of have to hold it up so you can see it better let me let me focus that okay the stamp was small but it's so it's so right i know i know already i'm sending this to my niece i just love this okay life is tough but so are you and it i just love how this, this lemon lime twist just sort of sticks out over the background. I added a few of those little enamel dots. Okay, I used some ribbon I had, and I'm gonna tell you all my supplies, and even if they are retired, I mean, sometimes you can't get things anymore. I'm not even sure if you can, but the, I still like to tell all my crafty friends, because a lot of my friends are, you know, crafty friends or demonstrators, and they might already have this stuff, or you might have something similar. Okay, so it's lemon lime twist, and because like, like I said, that was one of the coordinating colors. I don't get rid of my old ribbons, it's ombre ribbon. I use them to match up to projects that I'm already working on. Okay, you may be wondering, because if you subscribe to my channel, you know, Paper Chef, did you cut these out with the Brother Scan and Cut? I sure did, and I'll try to do another video on just that, on how I cut these, these little cups out with the Brother Scan and Cut and how I colored them using the blends. And I'm gonna just zoom out so you can have a better view of my projects. I just, this is what the stamp looks like without cutting it out. And I was planning on coloring this one too. Here's just a sentiment. All right, let's see what else I got. So this, this is one thing that I make a lot of in when I'm doing my crafts. It, these are called, I just call them tag treats. And to make this and the bookmarks, I'm using this punch here. Okay, it's called the scallop tag topper punch. It is a punch I've used thousands of times, and you make bookmarks and things. So I made this treat using this punch and two inch strips of paper. And I'm just gonna show you my little nuggets. I actually have nugget treats as well. This was, see, these are just the card. I just took the card and I decorated some nuggets with the card, okay, with the striped card. And this is just the piece of that paper I showed you earlier. It's very light in here, sorry for the, Super, super bright, <laughs> bright today. I, I finally charged my light and now it's like super bright. I guess brother too bright than how dark it's been. All right, so that's a little tag treat and you can put other things in it as well. All right, what else do we got for you? I have two projects, two projects left of my 10 original projects. Now this one is something I, you, you may have seen me make a lot, the, the nugget treats. Okay, so for I, I took the card, I took this card, okay. Now remember I took, one card and I made a box. Okay, this is the box. Then I took one card and I made an actual card. Okay, 
So then I took another one and I made, uh, I covered, I sliced it up and took, I made all these nuggets. And I wrapped the nuggets in it. Okay, and then I used the, for the tray, I used the wood textures designer series paper I showed you. Always when you make nuggets, you always should tell, even if you're just giving them to your friends and, and not selling them at craft fairs, I do sell a lot of these at craft fairs. But in this case, I'm just giving it to a team member. So I, I write contains nuts, you know, and I put that on the back and then I always put my website because people can order more of these items from me. So I always put my contact information on the back. So there it is. So I say it, thepaperchef.com. So be sure to check out my website because I will be putting more information about the things I can't put in the video, all the different colors of blends I use for each project and all the different, like this was actually part of the card and how I inked around the edges and mint macaron and all the things I'm doing, all those details. I try to put that all on my website later, even though I can't cover it all in the video. My video will be several hours long. All right, drum roll, please. Sorry for shaking the camera. This is my favorite of all the projects I created. And it's the one that I dreamed up, you know, first. It was like, okay, I want to make, I saw how busy this was. And I said, I need to make a pizza box out of this. So Stampin' Up, we sell mini pizza boxes, okay? And you can decorate them. And I, I knew that this lid was very busy. And then I put the little sentiment on a wobble spring, because I love wobble springs. There's a little spring under there. I'll link to my wobbles in the description. Okay, now I'm showing you the sides of the box. So I used all the little stamping elements to decorate the sides of the boxes and color them in with some markers and blends. So that's what that, and then open it up and I'm, because there's this theme of the cups, right, with this and the nature. So I thought, let me just do a cool coffee theme inside. So I just, I decorated the inside of the lid with another, another little succulent on a wobble. I put like what I do in my coffee boxes like I, I have an Etsy store and I sell little things, but I always put these little test tubes of coffee in. And I did what I would normally do for coffee boxes, except this is a little different because this one, I thought that this Starbucks Instant coffee matched what I, when I colored in the blends. So I thought that was cool. And then I have this little coffee candies, which I'll also link to. So that's, that's it. And I did um, a lot of inking around the edges using my little uh, sponge daubers because I was just trying to ink around the edges of some of my sentiments. And I think I covered all the material I used. You either use your brother's scan and cut to make a bunch of circles, or you can just, I mean, and or, I mean, I have, I have pretty much, I have circle punches galore. I pretty much, I'm working on the whole collection. I don't have every one yet, but for Stampin' Up, but I like having these because it lets me use all the leftover scraps of paper. Okay, so Stampin' Up, I'm gonna tell you about our paper pumpkin, and now stick around because I'm gonna do an unboxing. So thank you for watching me this far. I'm about to show you my second kit and start to finish because you might be going, how did you make all of that out of one kit? Not only did I just make all of those things out of one kit, all 12 projects I showed you, I have a lot of leftovers. I can still make at least three or four more cards. And I mean, it, not only that, it came with envelopes and I've even stamped all my envelopes. I've already put sentiments on my envelopes. So I mean, there's loads of supplies in each kit and they come with, they come with stamp sets and stamping spots. Well, next month it's talking about there's the Paper Pumpkins anniversary. And every March we get a really cool kit. And this one's gonna have two stamp sets in it, not just one. So you always get one stamp set. Okay, the Paper Pumpkin is so exciting to get. It's a subscription, so you never know what you're gonna get. It's like a mystery box, right? Where it comes in the mail and you just don't know what's inside. Unless, of course, you cheat or something and go on YouTube. But even so, they won't even release the video of what's inside until, until after the 10th of each month. So you have to order by the 10th See, this is the ordering period for this kit to subscribe. And then, and I'll have a link to how to subscribe to this paper pumpkin. I mean, just to feel how good it is when you get this is a reason to subscribe because every month, I'm only disappointed like one out of 12 months. I mean, every 11 out of 12 times, I'm just gonna be honest, I'm always keeping it real with my viewers. One out of 12 times, I'm disappointed. The other 11 out of times, I'm very excited. And even when I'm disappointed, I find alternate projects to do. And so I'm still, I'm still not totally disappointed. I'm just not like feeling it all the time because I'm not as into the home decor, but you might be. All right, so I'm gonna open it up. Da, 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 da. It says free stamp set in March. We've already talked about that. Here's what the stamp set looks like that we just used for this month. Okay, so you get, you get a stamp set. And you could, here's, here's the big sentiment I just stamped. And you saw how clear it was. I used fresh fig to stamp all that. Be kinder to yourself and let the kindness flood the world, okay? There's the, there's the stamp I used for the Brothers Cannon cut. I cut the, the cup, okay? There's all the sentiments. 
You always get a stamping spot. The first time you subscribe, you're also going to get a stamping block to use for these acrylic, that these acrylic stamps will fit on. And then you get also, you know, you get a little stamp set. And sometimes, some months you get two stamping spots. So that's pretty cool too. And you open it up, you always have this tissue paper. It's usually, that's like teal colored tissue paper. And there's the kit that we just, that I just showed you. And I don't mind opening it again because, I mean, not only do I love making my second kit, if I have an extra stamp set like this, I give it to a new team member. Just like these little stamping spots, someone joins my team, I'm like, okay, here's some, you know, ink to start your collection, extra stamps. I give them to my customers. So I never have too many of those. Those I might have extra of, but I always order these and refills. So like when you order a refill kit, which only subscribers can order, you're gonna get just this part and you won't get the stamps and the ink again. Okay, so we open this up and it has, so exciting. So you have your black baker's twine, your white baker's twine. Those dots, which I still have lots left over. These are sticky, sticky dots. You have glue dots. I mean, these are like little enamel glitter ones. Then you have glue dots. Then you have dimensionals. These are the foam dimensionals. Okay, and that comes in a bag, so save the bags. Then you got your envelopes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine, that's right, because I just remembered that. Okay, you have, you have your little card bases. You have your vellum, which I'm already stamping on. I'm cutting out some vellum now. In fact, sta I stamped some. Oh, these are those ones. I'm going to show you the vellum I stamped. Here we go. I've already done some stamping onto the vellum. So that was kind of pretty, and I'm going to be cutting those out. So you got vellum. One, two. Let's not digress because I want you to see the unboxing. One, two, three. You got three gray card bases. You got these three beautiful succulent card bases which I told you all the stuff I did with them. I made box lids, I made, you saw it, bookmarks, I mean, cards, all kinds of stuff. Then you got these three, okay? And you got these three photorealistic ones, awesome. And this reminds me a lot of what I just saw on Amazon. There was like, on Amazon it was said something about live plants for sale, and it had a picture on it of a table that looked almost like this. So our kits are very modern and in with the themes of what's going on in the industry as well. So look at this little texture on these cards. So one, two, three, the texture, and then three with the stripes. And you saw how I made box lids out of that. Okay, and then three with the fresh fig. Oh no, I'm sorry, not fresh fig, black. These are three black ones. Okay, three black ones, and then these are fresh fig. These are like two, two pieces of these. These are like fresh fig, lemon lime twist, mint macaron, whisper white, and these cute little ones with outlines. So these are just little die cuts, ready to punch. I always stamp and punch all mine at once. Okay, so. This is what's my, my old kit. These are some of the blends I used. And I just want to tell you, like I have a lot of leftover stuff in my old kit. The blends do not come with this, obviously. I'm just saying that that's what I used to color my, my little um, you know, coffee cups with. So thank you for watching. If you want to subscribe, one thing I do want to tell you is that right now in, in my store, we have a celebration going on. That means you can earn free products for at least spending $50 or more. And so if you get a prepaid subscription to Paper Pumpkin, then you can go ahead and pick out free items as well. So please check out my celebration special, which will be linked below in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is The Paper Chef.